Hello everyone. Welcome back to programming in python.com. Here I'm back with another video tutorial. Here in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to count the number of ovals in any given string. You all know what ovals are. The letters A, E, I, O, U are called ovals and we'll count how many times these are repeated in a given string. So let's get started. So I have opened my python IDE. I have opened a file here. So first initially, let me create a string for this ovals. I will name it ovals. C-O-W-E-L-S and I will give all the ovals here. So, so I'll use this string later to form a dictionary. So that uh, so after this, I'll create an input uh, string uh, to ask some string from the user. So I'll write input string equal to input enter a string. So after this, uh, the user have entered the string. Now what I'll do is I'll just uh, convert this into case instance to uh, to be useful while comparing this uh, comparing whether the user enters the string in uppercase letters or lowercase letters we'll just uh, ignore the case and compare while doing the comparison for that we'll use case fold we can use case fold on this uh, input string case fold method we can use this case fold method on this input string so after that uh, what i'll do is i will form a dictionary uh, like uh, with initial values of uh, 0 for all this like uh, if there is an a and its value will be 0 initially and there will be e its value will be 0 initially similarly a e i o u see this will be our dictionary i will instead of writing this i will form it using the uh, variable here uh, just see that i will count i will i will name this ovals count and I will form a dictionary. You know, this is the dictionary. We can form the dictionaries using keys. I will use from keys method on this. That means we can give this ovals as keys and the values as zero. So this line is equal to this dictionary here. What I'm saying is I am creating a dictionary with the keys as is ovals and the value as zero. So that will be equal to this. So after creating a dictionary, now what I'll do is I'll create a for loop. I will loop through the input string and when we loop through a string it will loop the characters in a string so it will loop each character and will check whether that is an oval or not that means that is in this uh, dictionary or not if that is in this dictionary we will just increment its value if initially it is 0 if the element is 1 we will increment it by 1 so on it will carry until the last character of a string so let me write that for letter n input string it loops the input string here and now I will check for the balls if letter n I will count so that means if this letter is found in this dictionary we will increment its value so we will count of letter plus equal to 1 so this increments the value of this particular character so finally if I can print this now so now I have print this dictionary so let me run this and see you will see the output run countable enter a string I will enter python and it shows one for o as there is only one oval in this python so i will run again and i will run this time i'll do a string of python programming it shows two a's one i two o's you can see there are two a's in programming G R O G R A. and okay i have misspelled the word in this misspelling in this misspelled word there are two a's yeah, so we can see two A's, one I and two O's. So that's how we can. Uh, and one more thing is, uh, I run uh, one more test which doesn't have any ovals at all. Uh, the word is rhythm. 
I will check with this. You can see everything is zero. So that's it for this program, guys. Hope you like that video, guys. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my channel, Programming in Python. So all the code just previously discussed will also be posted in GitHub, and there will be also a blog post on the same. I will post the links in the description. So look for the links in the description. And also, guys, if you want to get strong in fundamentals of Python programming, I advise you to take this course below. This is the course fundamentals of programming in Python. I will provide the link in the description. So look for the link in the description. So take the course, get strong in fundamentals of Python. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos from programmingandpython.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye.